Hi, in this video, we're gonna go over how to create these crochet tarot bags. All you're gonna need for this is a yarn, a crochet hook. I like to use one of these thick needles, scissors, and you can decide whether you wanna measure everything or if you just wanna use your tarot deck to get the correct measurements for your deck. I use both. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So I am starting with this cotton yarn. This is by Budget Yarn and uh, you have to use or you should use a two or three millimeter needle. I am going to use a three millimeter needle. Uh, this is not gonna be like a tutorial for how to chain, how to have double crochet. I'll link a video in the description box below uh, if you want to learn how to crochet, this is just how to crochet a tarot bag. So I made a, I believe it's called a slip knot, and I am going to chain. And okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. This one, so I have two examples here. This one we are going to finish off at the end of this video, uh, but this one had 30 chains and this one has 28 chains. So there's just a little bit of a difference here. It's not much. And this is the bag that I keep for my True Heart Intuitive Tarot. And I do believe this one was also 28 chains. So for this one, I'm also going to chain 28. So I just chained 28. Let's get, this is the uh, original Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck. It fits comfortably over it and um, the bag will be a little bit wider because um, the, the stitches that we're going to do are wider than the chains that we just made. So we started off with 28 chains and now we're going to make the first row and we're going to, I want this to be in focus, <laughs> uh, we have the first chain, the second chain and then in the third chain what we're going to do is we're going to make one half double crochet. Again, I'll link a video in the description box below where you can find all of the stitches and how to do them. And now we're just gonna continue on creating half double crochets. And since we started with 28 chains, we're gonna end up with 26 half double crochets. So just half double crochets all along the chains. So now that I have created 26 half double crochet, we're gonna start working on the next row. I'm going to chain one, and that's gonna be my turning chain. I'm gonna turn my work, and then I'm gonna do one half double crochet in the first stitch. So let me see if I can show you. We just chained one, that's our turning chain. We're not gonna put a, our half double crochet in there, but in the first actual stitch. So one half double crochet. And now we're gonna go into the pattern that we're gonna continue for the rest of the bag. We're gonna skip this first stitch. And then in the second stitch from our hook, we're gonna insert one single crochet and in that same space, one half double crochet. So we are gonna skip the first and then in the second space, we're gonna make a single crochet and a half double crochet. Oh. I don't know why I'm having trouble. So again, we just um, did that in this space. Then we're gonna skip this one. And in this one, we're gonna put a single crochet and a half double crochet. So skip. And then in the second space, we're gonna put a single crochet and a half double crochet. And we're gonna continue that until the end of this row, just skipping a stitch and then putting a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next space. So now I'm gonna end off this uh, row. I'm gonna skip this one, put a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I have one stitch left. Uh, sometimes you have to look for it a little bit. And in that last stitch, I'm gonna put one last half double crochet. So we started the row off with one half double crochet, then we did the pattern, and then we're going to end it off with a half double crochet. Again, chain one as our turning chain, turn your work, and put a half double crochet in the first stitch. So after we've done that, we're going to again skip one stitch and then put, um, and, and now you can actually see that there's this little hole here, 
and it's in that hole that you're gonna put your single crochet and your half double crochet and it lines up perfectly with the like skipping a stitch and then a hole so yeah that is going to be the entire pattern for this bag so we're gonna skip a stitch and in the next stitch put a single crochet and a half double crochet skip one single crochet half double crochet skip one single crochet half double crochet i think you get it so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to first of all finish off this row and i started another one yesterday that we're gonna finish off together so um, what I do is I keep repeating this. I keep repeating creating rows like I just showed you how I do them. And then I'm going to keep on crocheting until I got a big like this. <laughs> like I've got this. I don't count the amount of rows that I do. I just measure it. I have my ruler here. I work in centimeters, by the way. Uh, so... What I do is um, I have already finished this off with, okay, so we start with a row of half double crochets and I also ended with a row of half double crochets. So that's the first step of um, finishing up this bag. I ended with a row of half double crochets. What I'm going to do now, because I left quite a bit of yarn at the end here when I uh, when I started because we're going to use this to sew up the sides of the bag. Now for the to finish this one off I'm going to snip off the end and um, do as if I'm going to chain one. I'm going to pull this through all the way. I'm going to tighten it and that is the end of that one and uh, I can also tighten it a little bit on where I started here. So what we have now is we have one long piece with two um, pieces of yarn at the end. I'm gonna start by making the shape of the bag and you can um, decide for yourself whether you want this side or this side of the half double crochets um, showing. Let me see what I actually did for the other one. Yeah, I showed this side of the half double crochet because it's just a little bit prettier to look at. So what I'm going to do now to measure this, this is a standard sized um, tarot card, which is seven centimeters wide. And I want this to be nine centimeters wide. So I'm going to measure it until it measures nine centimeters at both sides. So now I know that the sides are equal and sometimes it looks here like this is wider than this, but it you can stretch it a little bit. And once you have sewn up the sides, everything is fine. So what I'm gonna do now, I have this large needle, if you can even call it that. I'm gonna see where, it, where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right here. So uh, at the side here, I'm gonna see what little pieces of yarn stick out and I'm gonna pull my needle through there. Then I'm gonna pull it through here and pull it tight. And that is how I'm gonna stitch up the side. I always just do that with the yarn that I have left over, which is why I wanted to keep a bit of yarn um, when I first do my slip knot at the beginning like that and when i'm at the end i'm gonna see if everything is sewn up nice and it is so now i'm just gonna kind of thread this in to hide the yarn snip off the end here and kind of do that so that it doesn't stick out and now we have one part of the pocket. To sew up the other side, I am just going to snip off a piece of yarn and I'm making sure that it is equal. So I started here at the top of this row. So I just go all the way here, pull my needle through there. So now that it is equal and even, I should say. And I pull my needle through there two times to make a knot here and then I go on sewing up the sides. So again, now that I've sewn up the sides, I look at to see if I've sewn it up correctly and I have. So now I'm just gonna sew in the thread here 
and I'm snipping off the end. And now we have these two little pieces of yarn and I'm just gonna sew these in as well. So now that I have sewn up the sides, I've put in the pieces of yarn. The only thing that is left to do is make the little drawstring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, grab my yarn and we're gonna chain because the the drawstring here is basically just all chains and this one is a little bit longer i think this one is about 80 to 90 centimeters and this one is i think 75 to 80. so again i don't count my chains i just chain a whole lot and then i measure it to see whether or not it is long enough to, uh, because what I do is we have two pieces. It is one long drawstring that uh, I'm gonna knot here in the middle. And one is longer than the other because the longer one is gonna be rolled around, around it. And then I wanna knot it so that when I make a knot here, that both of the drawstrings are equal length after I knot it here so that I get an equal knot like this. And this one is a little bit longer than maybe I would prefer. So we're not gonna make it as long for this one. So I'm just gonna chain a whole lot. So I have just chained a little bit over 60 centimeters. Let me just do a couple more. And I'm gonna take the end of my chains, pull it tight. And then with my needle, we're gonna find the middle of the bag. So I know that I have 26 half double crochets, so I could count them. And after the 13th, I'm gonna insert the needle there, or I'm just gonna use my ruler. I have about 15 centimeters. So seven and a half is the middle. That's this one right here. I'm gonna pull my chain through here. I still haven't finished off the end of the chain because I don't know if I'm gonna need a longer chain. So, or longer drawstring, I should say. So I keep about 20 centimeters out here. So I have the rest to wrap around the bag. Let's do that. Actually, I'm gonna put in the tarot bag or the tarot deck, I should say. <laughs> Fits really comfortably. I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna take the longer drawstring, pull it over. And yeah, I've got plenty. So I'm gonna close off this drawstring, pull it tight. And now that I have pulled it over here, I'm gonna take them together and see if the drawstrings are equal. And I'm just gonna pull on the drawstring a little bit to make them equal so that I know where to knot them. This seems about right, which is the shorter drawstring of almost 25 centimeters. I'm gonna knot it. And this is basically it. All I'm gonna do now is snip off the ends of the chain here. If you use, so I used a uh, cotton yarn. If you use acrylic yarn, then it might be fun to add some tassels here. I'll insert a couple of pictures of um, bags that I've made with tassels on them. And that was with acrylic yarn. So now I'm just gonna tie this into a bow. And I really like to double knot it or double tie it, whatever you want to call it. And this is the bag that I just made. So you can decide how long you want the flap to be. This one isn't, or this one, yeah, this one isn't as long. Then this one is a little bit longer. So you can really customize it however you want it to be. So this one holds a standard size tarot deck. It has a little bit of stretch in it, so you can definitely fit in a thicker or slightly wider tarot deck as well. So yeah, that is how I made my crochet tarot bags. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna make this, in what color you're gonna make it, for what tarot deck or oracle deck you're gonna make it. I would love to hear from you. If you wanna see more tarot videos, more witchy DIYs, definitely subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. I just want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.